diabetes cannot be cured completely but it definitely can be well controlled in order to control your diabetes well there are several things to follow number one you have to follow your doctor's instructions on the medication and take your medication properly number two a bal having a balanced diet there is nothing called a diabetic diet nowadays as long as you take a well balanced diet in proper quantities that is the best diet for you as well as your whole family number 3 is having a very active life that is start exercising 30 minutes daily for 5 days or at least 45 minutes every other day you may engage yourself in exercises like walking aerobics swimming or any other active sport a combination of all this will definitely help you to control your blood sugar levels very well in a very short period of time. Yes, once the doctor starts prescribing drugs for your diabetes, you have to take it lifelong. Of course, together with a good diet control as well as exercise, with your medication after some time you may gain a good control in your blood sugar levels but that does not mean that you can stop your drugs with time with if you attain a good control under your doctor's instructions we may control we may continue the same drugs on a lesser dose of medication but the doctor has to see you frequently and decide on your blood sugar levels and the dose of drug that you are taking accordingly. So you will have to take your drugs continuously as well as go for your diabetic clinic visits at least once in three months. In patients with type 1 diabetes, insulin definitely has to be given lifelong because they lack insulin secretion in their bodies. In type 2 diabetes, doctors usually start managing with oral drugs. But after 10 to 20 years of using drugs, the action of drugs can reduce and naturally your in insulin secretion may also be reduced. As a result of this, you may see after 10 to 20 years of diabetes that there will be a difficulty in controlling your blood sugar levels. In such a situation, doctors may combine insulin together with oral drugs. So once insulin is started, you have to take it lifelong because if there is no natural insulin or if there is reduced insulin secretion in your body, it's obvious that you have to give take insulin. But with time, with this combination of oral drugs and insulin, you can definitely, you will be able to control your blood sugar levels well. Afterwards, doctors may decide to even come down on the insulin dose or even the dose of oral drugs. But all this should be changes should be done only under a doctor's instruction. With time, having diabetes 
you may have to face several complications. Diabetes can cause a high risk of having heart attacks, stroke, then it may also damage your eye, it's called retinopathy. Also, the most dangerous uh, complication is when it affects your kidneys. This is called nephropathy. When it affects your kidneys, you may pass proteins with your urine and that's when we find out that your kidneys are also affected. Apart from that, it may also damage the nerves in your legs as well as arms and as a result of this you may feel numbness in your hands and fingers and your feet may feel frequently numbed. As a result of this, the feet are prone for frequent wounds which may not be healed and easily may get infected. And overall, diabetes can reduce your immunity as well. As a result of retinopathy, that is when diabetes affects your eyes, it can even lead to blindness. If you feel you may have diabetes or if you want to screen yourself for diabetes, you may visit our endocrine and diabetes unit at Sri Javadanapura General Hospital. We provide services for screening for diabetes, diagnosing diabetes as well as frequent clinic follow-up. Apart from that, we also have a foot care clinic a wound care clinic as well as health education unit.